Hey folks, Chef Cutting here. I want to talk to you about a recipe that I'm going to take straight from the sea. These are sea bread shrimp uh, and they are deveined and we are going to cook them from the raw form. Uh, if you want to stick with the paleo way of making food, do not buy pre-cooked or pre-frozen cooked uh, shrimp. If you're going to buy frozen shrimp, they need to be raw, they need to be organic. They need to come straight from the sea in the bag to you. Uh, so that's one. Two, what we're going to be making is called the Asian pepper shrimp on carrot slices. And what I'm going to take is I'm going to take the carrots and I'm going to season those with a little bit of spices as you're going to see. We're going to make a nice bed of hot carrots and then we're going to ladle on those Asian pepper shrimps over it and put a really nice garnish on the top. The flavors in this are amazing. Uh, the food that you're going to be looking for is going to be easily found in your kitchen. And the paleo way, obviously, is to make sure that we're using everything that's either organic, meaning no human hands have touched it other than we picked it and we got it, uh, or they're organic in the way that uh, we, put, we harvest them from the sea or we harvest them from an animal as we would uh, living in a farm. So that being said, that's where we're at with this shrimp dish. And I have all the items ready to go in the test kitchen. So let's make it over there and let's have a good time making our Asian pepper shrimp served over carrot slices. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to get ready and start this awesome Asian peppered shrimp, okay? All right, so let's get started. This is a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper, a tablespoon of soy sauce. This is naturally brewed. This is a um, tablespoon of chopped fresh garlic. This is a teaspoon of chili flakes. This is a tablespoon of olive oil. This is a teaspoon of chopped cilantro. We have one carrot, one pepper, and approximately a half a dozen shrimp. Now, this dish can feed two people as an appetizer or one person as an entree. If you wanted to add more shrimp, it would not increase any of these ingredients until you got over a dozen. Once you got over a dozen, just make sure you double those ingredients up to 18. After that, that's what you would do every 18 shrimp. Well, let's get our prep started as normal. We're going to work on the pepper and the carrots first. Okay, so just so you can see this technique, what I'm doing is, is I'm lying the, the peeler all the way down the carrot, and then I'm just peeling the carrot so that I end up with one of these. This is going to look really cool with the presentation, and I want to show you guys how to make some more intricate dishes that are going to look a little more standout-ish. So uh, that's the technique to do the carrot. Just take your peeler and go straight through there. You're also seeing that I've uh, chopped the peppers into rings. They're about a quarter of an inch thick. This isn't your eyes that are deceiving you. I made a decision to change the color of the pepper and make it a red pepper instead of an orange pepper because the carrot and the pepper look so similar. So. Slight recipe change, but the flavor will be the same. All right, we're going to get ready to start cooking now. Okay, so here we can see the carrots are done. The red pepper is done. We have the shrimp. We have all our ingredients. We're going to get started by using a medium saute pan. We're going to put it on medium heat. And we're going to heat that pan up and place half of our olive oil, not all of it, but half of the olive oil into the pan. Keep the other half. There we go. Keep the other half for later. And we're going to heat that up until it's nice and hot. And we're going to do the carrots and the peppers first, and I'll show you why. Folks, when you're making this dish, uh, try to find a white plate. The dish is very colorful, and it'll stand out much better that way. Uh, if you don't have a white dish, you, you, you could probably tell that I always use white dishes in my kitchen for that reason. But if you don't have a white dish, just make sure the base is white or you have a solid color, like maybe a light green, a light gray, or a black. Uh, the, the colors in this dish will stand out much better that way. Okay, sticking with the paleo method, we are going to use nothing but farm, phrase, farm fresh organic vegetables as well as the oils and bulbs that we can use. Uh, peppers, the chilies are from a chili pepper, so we're good there. This shrimp is straight from the sea farm, so this is straight from the water to us. So it, it is kind of hard to find shrimp like that, but a fishmonger would have that. So we're going to start off, as I said, using the carrots and the peppers first, and we're going to put those right in the pan, like so. And you just want to toss those around a little, okay, just to get that, uh, get that olive oil over all of it. 
Then you want to add just a touch of garlic. You don't want to use all of it, just a touch of garlic. And then a touch of the red chili flakes. Just a little hairline of, there you go, soy sauce. Toss that all up. Oh yeah, that looks good. Look at the color on that, folks. And if you don't have, if you don't have, uh, you know, the flipping skills that I'm showing you with the pan, uh, go ahead and use a spatula. You'll also see that the carrots and the peppers will cook rather quickly this way. That was done on purpose. Uh, we're going to go ahead now and plate the vegetables. Okay, once I've put the carrots out, I'm just going to go ahead and take the remaining contents and just dump it over the top like that. Get all the garlic out of there. That's all that good stuff. Okay, you notice that I haven't cleaned the, the pan and that's because I don't want to clean it. I want all the nutrients from the vegetables that were just in there and the flavors that just came out from all that toasting to stay in the pan. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the remaining of the olive oil and pour that in there. Get that nice and toasted up. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the remaining garlic in there. And then put the rest of the hot peppers in. And then I'm going to take a spatula and I'm just going to mix that around the olive oil so I can get all that nice and blanched. And the blanching process really helps seal flavor and uh, that's what we want to do. Your whole, your whole kitchen should start really just smelling of good garlic and hot pepper uh, and you know you're on the right track. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the shrimp in. I'm just going to lay them in there, no specific way. Just make sure the, the bottoms are all nice and toasted. Now there are a couple ways you can do this. I made this a little easier so that you could just cook them in the pan the way we are, but you could take the shrimp, ooh that's good not. You could take the shrimp and cut them a little further in, and then you can lay them on the plate out like that. Now once the shrimp starts to become almost cooked, you can see right there that it's starting to get that orange color around it. That is almost done. You see that is not orange and it's still kind of translucent. That's a good example of what's not done. So make sure you got a nice orange color on all your shrimp before you pull them off the heat. In the meantime, you just saw me do that flip. You can see the orange is really good on the other sides. Also, you'll notice that the shrimp starts to curl in like this. That's normal for when it cooks. Uh, and this is why we won't be serving it with that, that cut in the flare, because you really need to lay it down that way. But I'll show you in another shrimp recipe how to do that. This recipe is going to be fine the way it is. All right, now I'm going to add the pepper. And the best part now, here we go, folks, the soy sauce. Oh yeah. And for those of you that really like Asian cooking, okay, and I'm one of those people, you can add uh, op an option of ginger to this, powdered ginger, and even an option of some raw honey. Uh, I'm, of course, a huge Asian fan, so I'm just going to give it a dip of, of honey there. Oops just to kind of sweeten it up a little. The ginger is really good and it, and it tastes really good in the, in, the, uh, in the recipe so if you do want to use ginger I suggest that you go ahead and do that. And Again like I said before if you can't flip the way you've seen me flip just use a spatula. Okay you're probably wondering about this plate. Well there are two things you could do. Either have the plate pre-warmed or put the plate in the oven with the vegetables about two or three minutes before you're ready to serve. 
I tend to just leave this out at room temperature because by the time I put the shrimp and the gravy back on those vegetables, they'll get warm again, so that's not a big deal for me. Now before I discard the pan, I like to get all of what I like to call the gunk off the pan. And we're going to take a little bit, just a little bit of this gunk and put it on each of the shrimps. So I'll show you how, because you don't want all that fat. See all that fat coming off there now? You don't want all of that. So I'm just going to show you what we're going to do with some of this gunk. And there we go. Wow, that looks really good, huh? But you know what it's missing? It's missing a little green. So we're going to go ahead and put a little cilantro on each. There we go. Let's get that out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, your Asian peppered shrimp, they got a kick to it, no doubt, but some very flavorful and herby essences of shrimp are on that plate along with some very healthy paleon cooking and awesome vegetables and let me tell you something of all the dishes that i make this one seems to have the most flavor from nature so bon appetit <laughs>